Hey there, hi there, oh there, it's me, Bear, your forever GM? Do I have to change that? I don't know. I'm still sick. I wasn't going to make any videos until Friday, but everything keeps happening. The world does not want to slow down, so I just want to take this quick moment and say that I'm choosing not to see this OGL crisis as a bad thing, but as a good thing. I remember the 80s and 90s when there were all sorts of different games and we tried them, we had fun. It wasn't just this homogeneity of D and D, and that was it, or D twenty, or it was. There was tons of variety, and there still is to this day, by the way. But for the hobby pr uh, pr uh, publishers and for the third party press, we are about to have an embarrassment of riches, blessings in disguise, castles and crusades, open license, MCDM. Matt Colville, he's going to introduce his own game, open license, Cobalt Press, Project Black Flag, open license game for everybody to use. Greyhawk Grognard's working on a game group right now to make a, an OSR-style SRD for everybody to have access to. Basic fantasy games are stripping out all the OGL stuff, all the SRD stuff, and then going to re-release their games. We will have, by this time next year, there's going to be five or six more books on my shelf just because of this one simple act of lunacy and corporate piracy and greed by Wizards of the Coast. So I choose not to be upset by it, I choose to see it for what it is, a true blessing in disguise to all of us. It's going to be up to us to support these games. It's going to be up to us to take all that money we would have given to WotC and give it to these third-party publishers. You spend 50 bucks a year, 100 bucks a year, 500 bucks a year, whatever amount of money you spend, five bucks a year, you spend it on them instead, and you help support them and you help promote them. I will on this channel for sure because I'm in the same bed as them. The only difference is I'm not basing my life on it, right? It's not how I pay my bills. It's not how I feed me and the cats. But some people, they do, and this is a real kick in the teeth to them. So we're going to take full advantage of this, this misery, and we're going to snatch victory out of the jaws of defeat, and we're going to support each other, and we're going to basically be the one tribe we are, which is the gamer tribe, and we're going to have each other's backs, and we're going to roll dice together at conventions, and at some point in time, when someone says, hey, I play d and I role play, we're going to go, <laughs> okay, man, you have fun. I remember my first kitty game, too. You understand? We're about to just enter into a world, a universe uh, of creativity, a cornucopia of choice and option. So thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for having no vision, limited, narrow understanding of this community, and greed that is instead turned to this, a true gathering of the community to create for the community. That's all I got to say today. You can hear I'm done. So peace, love, geek, Friday noon, big announcement from me. Love you.